Have you ever spoken with darkness? Sure have. What was it like? Well, it wasn't much of a conversation. Didn't feel like I was getting through to it and vice versa. Imagine trying to talk to someone with a very unconventional thought process. Huh, like you. <laughs> I sure wish I had friends. No wonder you ended up as the bear. You're scary. Your point? Maybe you can growl at them. Hmm. Don't insult me! Come on, I said. You won't know if it works <laughs> unless you try. Keyblade wielders were supposed to fight against the darkness. But we're just giving up and running away. It sounds bad when you put it like that. There's no other way to put it. The defenses here are rather lacking. The fact that it exists is proof of your success. That means you've trained a worthy apprentice, passed down that handsome keyblade, and fulfilled your role. Congratulations! What's the matter? Come on, you did a fantastic job. At least smile a little. But I haven't done anything yet. This isn't the time to be sitting around feeling sorry for yourself. Do I really have to go alone? What about the others? Minor details. Since when do you care about others? Shush you! I know you want it. But that just isn't enough. Any chump can say, You! Here's a huge promotion! Good job! And make your head honcho. But enthusiasm alone doesn't make a great leader. Thanks! Hey! Wait for me! A union leader? Gilly? Making Yira the leader is all good in theory, but sometime later you might think, eh, He's terrible at this! Yira, some leader you are. You've managed to plant seeds of doubt in all of us with that speech. What, did you expect the traitor to give themselves up with that accusation of yours? <laughs> that was foolish. Perhaps. No. You don't have that kind of power. Well, gazing or not, that Keyblade does have an eye in it. My eye, to be exact. Ew! Oh, you think that's gross, do ya? Ah, you're not ready yet. I had a feeling that might be the case. I'm a fool for basing my actions on what is written on that lost page. You're not worthy of the Keyblade. I heard Master Gula is seen around here more than the tower. No matter. Sora and those buffoons can't follow us here. She doesn't even know their name? Nope. No, oh, Blue Shoe. I took you under my wing and taught you everything you know. Which is apparently nothing. You look sad. Thought I'd be the last to arrive. Guess I'm not so lazy after all. Uh, I have to say, I didn't expect you to look like such a cliché. Shall we call it done, then? Oh! So you surrender! <sighs> Figures you wouldn't know what's going on. Seeing you didn't take a very good look at the book. Uh, grow a backbone, will ya? Huh, I get it. You're the serious one. Like Master Ava. Huh? You're not the first person to say that. I thought you seemed familiar. But Master Av is so amazing! Uh. It looks to me like the Master made the wrong choice. Do you think they all got there safely? Of course. Brains with them. Yeah, he's always got a plan. Unlike someone I know. I'm 
glad you're excited, but gee, calm down. To be perfectly honest, they were pretty wimpy before. The strife has already begun, and you four have done nothing but fuel the flame. I disagree. Whoa, Vin. When did you grow a spine? I see. So you have me trapped here, away from the real world, because you feared my power. Not quite. You call it infection and expansion, but you're just stealing the bodies of those with hearts. You act like it's this grandiose plan when it's actually sad and pathetic. It's a clever plan and all, but a little too clever coming from you. I wonder why I was chosen for this. I'm not especially good at anything. And will you be joining me? You should be able to, seeing as you have no physical form to hinder you. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I didn't think tricking you guys would be so easy. Are all of you this gullible? And what's this nonsense about the end? <laughs> 